Hello everyone and welcome back to my three minute devour. It uh, really will be three minutes this week, unlike last week, went slightly over time. Um, this week's portion is Parashat Lech Lecha, where we are introduced for the first time to Abraham, our forefather Abraham, an incredible, incredible human being who discovered God all by himself. He was living uh, in, in, a, in a pagan society where people were doing human sacrifice and the like, and he, he sort of looked at the world around him and thought, this doesn't make any sense, there's no way this could be true, and he went on his own spiritual journey, ended up discovering God for himself, realized that monotheism was the only possible truth, and the rest is history. The Jewish people were formed as a result of that, and we are who we are today, very much as a result of, of who Abraham and his son Isaac and his grandson Jacob were. When we look at the life Abraham lived, we are told that he had 10 tests, 10 challenges which God gave him to allow Abraham to really prove what he was capable of doing to himself, to allow Abraham to prove to himself who and what he was and what he was capable of doing. We're told the first of his 10 tests was a test of Orkasta, where he was arrested by the evil king Nimrod and he was thrown into jail and told by the evil king that he had two choices. He could either um, agree to bow down to the idols and to practice their practices or he would be killed. He'd be thrown, uh, burnt at stake. And Abraham decided it's much more important to me to remain true to who I am uh, and he said, if you want to throw me into the fiery furnace, go ahead, because I'm not bowing down to those idols. Nimrod threw Abraham into the fire. A miracle happened and God protected him. And he, the, the fire did not burn him or consume him. And Abraham walked away from there completely untouched. The next of his tests was the test of this week's portion, the test of Lech Lecha, where Abraham was told by God to leave his hometown, to leave his comfort zone entirely, to leave all the people that he knew and to go on his own journey to the land which God would show him. When we think about the tests and we think about how tests really should work, it doesn't seem to make any sense at first. Surely tests should be getting harder, not easier. And the first of his tests was where Abraham had to give up his life for something he believed in. The second of his tests was just to leave his hometown. If we'd have to think about which one would be harder, surely we'd choose the first one to be the harder one, not the second. So why was God making his tests easier, not harder? Rabbi Noah Weinberg, when he passed away a few years ago, says from here we see that it's much harder to live for what you believe in than to die for what you believe in. Ultimately, dying for something you believe in is a remarkable decision to make, but it's a one-off decision. It's something you make in the spur of the moment. But to live for what you believe in, to live an entire life based on the values that you hold near and dear, that's something which is a lot more challenging. And he says, think about the things which you are ready to die for and start living by them. Because those are the things which you truly hold to be deeply true to you. And those are the things which are most important to us. And if we can identify those things, those things which we are ready to die for, and start to live our lives based on those values and those ideas, then that's the best life we could possibly live. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom, and once again, a fantastic week ahead.